So I'm here at this amazing place. I've come here a lot um, over my lifetime um, at some pivotal moments in life, a good moments, bad moments, but this is just a, a, a park here. Um, it's, I actually used to go over there to that dirt pile over there uh, and I would just sit there and ponder uh, the deepest thoughts of life. Um, but actually over there is uh, the town where I live and uh, we're about 600, over 600 feet above sea level and that is our town. This is my town where I grew up and where I lived and where I still live. Um, it's just beautiful to see the scenery. I grew up uh, in a good family, a really good home and uh, I had a uh, learning disability, I still do. Um, and so school was a challenge um, and beyond school, uh, work was a challenge. Keeping and maintaining jobs was hard. Um, and so I had to, I barely graduated high school. I got held back in second grade and I just barely made it through. I was in learning support classes uh, and special education, whatnot, but I graduated and I became a welder. I was very interested in welding um, from about the age of like 14. I was making welders in my bedroom secretly that my parents wouldn't know about. Basically, uh, at the age of 25, I was working this one job. I was a used uh, parts salesman and an inv inventory person. And um, I was terrible at the job. I, I wasn't good at it and I hated it. And I, I got bullied a lot there um, by you know the owners and the other employees. And so it was a dread, um, but you know, I ended up getting fired from that job. And so I started a landscaping business um, out of necessity. I was scared out of my mind. I had finally had my own apartment, one of many, because I would never really be able to keep an apartment for very long because of the work situation, not being able to keep a job and uh, maintaining that. Um, but I got fired from this job and I thought, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't have no other options. I can't go anywhere. I can't, I'm gonna lose this apartment. Um, and I've always grown up, I've always knew how to do, you know, yard work um, and stuff like that. Uh, and so I started doing that, um, not because I liked it particularly, but because I knew how to do it and it didn't require a lot of, you know, skills and education, which I didn't go to college. Uh, it was around uh, 2018 where I started um, becoming proficient enough and realized that uh, I, the business was actually starting to make a profit as I was learning, uh, watching a lot of things on YouTube. Uh, I learned how to do everything basically on YouTube and got really sufficient at it, proficient. Um, but uh, from that point on, uh, it kind of crested and kept getting better. I think the first year in business, I think was like $5,000 that I earned or something like that. Um, and then by the time, 2018 uh, was over. I think that was like a 50, my first $50,000 year. Um, and I, I was ecstatic, uh, very excited. Um, and then finally, uh, 2020 came and that was the year that I, I grossed 103,000. Um, and, and then the following year was like a hundred, a little bit more than that. And then uh, the year after that, 2020, to, I think it was like 126 and um, so it it it's been rewarding at the same time it's it's not easy it's very stressful but it is the freedom that I've longed for and I, I couldn't see myself ever working at another job um, for another company I just um, I just can't do that I, I don't do well um, with my particular disability um, to um, to do that. It just never works for me. I don't do well with uh, interaction with people. Now, strangely enough, if it's my customers, yes. Um, uh, I, I just have taught myself to make good eye contact and to uh, stand still and um, just try to answer whatever questions they have and interact with them as best possible. And um, it becomes a survival skill uh, for anyone who has a uh, a disability, learning disability, intellectual disability, to be able to make it in life, uh, you have to work hard. You can't 
be a victim. You have to overcome your circumstances and you really have to pull yourself together. Um, find the support you can. Uh, people who will be there for you along the way. Don't really reach out for help. I kind of am kind of stay to myself because um, I just don't always understand how to uh, interact with other people and it's very exhausting. Um, but the goal is to thrive in life no matter your circumstances or cards you're dealt um, and and I hope you do just that so I, I think the conclusion of this message is basically um, I think there's a lot of I know at least for me there's a lot of shame and embarrassment that comes with having struggles uh, you know any struggle you know in life health limitations or whatever or just there's a lot of shame that we carry with us and we do everything we can to appear normal uh, to other people, our peers, our family, and uh, everyone in, in everyday life. And for me, there was just a lot of shame with uh, my struggles, uh, learning disability, um, and just other things like that. That, you know, I just lived a life of hiding things and, uh, and shame. And I just remember going out through school, just like being so embarrassed that I was like, had these issues. Um, and it affected me throughout my young adulthood too. Um, like, like I said, I'm 34 now, but I just now have uh, through lots of um, research and just encouragement from other uh, YouTubers here, other people with uh, disabilities, learning disabilities, intellectual disabilities, that you know we don't have to hide behind a mask, uh, pretending that we're someone that we're not. We are, you know, we we need to thrive in life and just do what works for you, makes do what makes you happy and provides for your you and your family um i've really been uh, delayed a lot in what i've been learning recently which i'm thankful that i've learned so much like you may not want to have a business but if you you want to do something to help other people or to help yourself thrive be proud of who you are and don't don't let anything hinder you back i never fit in with anybody i was just a weird everyone just i was a freak of life to everyone um i didn't know how to uh just didn't know how to understand people and how to uh, interact with people. And I remember I would be at the grocery store, um, and I would just would not understand uh, why the people at the register were so seemed so angry or mean. Uh, uh, in my mind, I perceived everyone as being like angry or like just a blank face. And so I would study the people uh, ahead of me who were being checked out by the cashier person. And I would look at how the ladies, or the person on the register's face was, the guy or lady, how their facial expressions were with the person they were serving, so I could know that if it was something personal against me, why they had that face. You have to learn, you have to study. I also take great interest in psychology uh, and, and medicine. I, I spend a lot of time researching, uh, right now, human anatomy and uh, just medical stuff. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, the, well, I'll put some more on, some more videos and uh, keep growing, keep thriving and, uh, and be strong. Thank you.